Hey y'all, my name is Molly Sidnor and you can find me at Molly Margaret Designer on Instagram. Um, first of all, happy pride. I identify as a queer woman of color. Um, so today for this little video, I'm gonna teach y'all how to make a um, pair of rainbow earrings. Um, so I'm using this. So this is actually the brand that I'm using. Super Saver Red Heart Yarn. I like to use this kind of yarn for these earrings because they are super fluffy. Um, some other kinds of yarn isn't necessarily the best for the palm earrings because the if the yarn isn't kind of like worsted like this, it just doesn't work as nicely. Um, it just depends on the look you're going for. Um, and then additionally, I have this little pom-pom maker tool. So I'll show, you're gonna wanna open it up like this, and then I'll show you how to use that. I have pre put together the um, earring part. So you can see right here, I did two hoops. You can do one, I just like to do two because it makes it, it gives it a little bit of space. Just looks a little bit better. Um, and then you're gonna need scissors. So for the first one, all right. So for one of them, I'm gonna make a cloud. And so I'm using white. Um, and so you're just gonna wrap on one of these ends. You're just, it doesn't matter which one, you're just gonna wrap until it fills up. And instead of doing like one side, fill it up around, I like to make it pretty even. So I like to go all the way around the whole thing and then all the way back. That way it's nice and evenly spread. And you don't wanna pull it too tight. You just wanna make sure it's taut. All right. So make sure you get in each corner like so, and that one's done. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this one back into itself, fold it, and then I'm gonna do the other side. And then same thing, you wanna go all the way around to the edge and then all the way back. And then this one is almost full, full. Okay, so then you fold this one down and then you've got your full piece. Okay, so now you're gonna cut that piece. And I like to have, so these are like dog poop bags, but they come in handy for when you're cutting because I like to save all scraps. And then you can use that for like making paper or filling small crochet things. I like to just save the scraps. Um, and so now you're gonna take the scissors and you're gonna cut along there, okay? Cause there's a little gap between, do you see the gap? That goes all the way around to the other side. So you're gonna cut right here, all the way around and it'll look like that. Okay, so it's got, one side's gonna look like that. That's great. Now I'm gonna cut the other side. And you're gonna want decently sharp scissors for this just because especially acrylic yarn tends to dull scissor blades pretty quickly. Okay. Okay, so now I've got both sides looking pretty good. All right. And so now I'm going to cut a small piece. It's about this big. Okay. And I'm going to take my earring and I'm going to loop it through the bottom one 
like so. Okay, like that, all right. Now I'm gonna separate this just a tiny bit, not too much because I don't want the yarn to fall off, but just, a, just enough. And then I'm gonna wrap this around it like so. See how it's nicely in there? Okay, and then I'm gonna wrap it to this side and tie a knot right here. And then pull it really tight. Okay, so because we opened this up a little bit and since we tied the knot really tight, it allowed breathing room so that this didn't curl or fall or break or anything. So I'm gonna double knot that like so, okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it off of this. And then you can pop this piece off, okay. All right, so I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna hold this up and kind of fluff it a little bit like so and hold the earring piece up. And I have these strings right here. Now I'm gonna put this just aside for just a second while I gather my other colors. So I'm gonna get red, pink, yellow, orange, green, and I have two different blues that I'm gonna try. Wherever this end is. Okay. All right. So I have it like this and I'm just gonna cut so that it's about even, like so, okay. And this is just gonna depend on how long you wanna make it. So I like to make it a little bit longer than I think I want and then I can trim it later. So now I'm gonna cut this in half and I have two separate pieces, okay. So this is for one earring and this is for the other. I like to have them both ready at the same time. Okay, so now I folded it in half one more time and I'm gonna take this and make sure it's directly at the bottom. So it's directly at the opposite end of the earring hook, okay? And so now I'm gonna take these two ends and I'm gonna slip the colorful ends through there right? And then I'm going to tie a knot at the end. Again, nice and tight, double knot. Okay. So now I've got my cloud and I've got my rainbow. Okay. So I'm going to take this little plastic baggie and just put it in my lap. And I'm just going to trim these white ends so that they're even with the rest of the palm. And I'm gonna trim it into the baggie, like so. And then I'm gonna go around this whole palm fluff and I'm gonna make sure all the ends are even. And this could take a little bit of time. The more you make, the more, the quicker it'll go because you'll have a more even palm. You can also trim them to be a little bit less poofy if that's the look you're going for. Um, but they have different size palm makers, so I would just recommend getting the size palm maker that you want. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna trim the rainbow so that it's the size that I want it. 
I think that's a pretty good length. You can cut it shorter, you can leave it longer. Um, I'm gonna take this one out. And I'm gonna put this one in to show you. Okay. So I think that's a pretty good length. You can cut it shorter if you want to, but there is your rainbow cloud earring.